On today's video, we're going to do an unboxing of a Tar Hill Ants Custom Pioneer XL. Now, when you receive a nest from Tar Hill Ants, uh, expect it to be packaged above and beyond, no matter if it's big or small. Now, a key thing to do when you're sifting through the packing peanuts initially, make sure you sift through it and find the accessories bag. Very important as I have unintentionally thrown mine away before. I sped this part up because like I said, they are packaged top notch. And uh, I finally got to the bottom of it and pulled out this behemoth of a nest. Now let's take a closer look at it. So first we're going to look at this custom outworld. This is a custom box with a custom magnetic lid. You can see here it's got a magnetic lid straight access to one of the feeding platforms and another one on this side. And then the actual entire lid is lined with magnets. The bottom of the outworld also has magnets to attach it to the nest safely. Now inside the nest, we'll point out a few things that are unique about this Pioneer. It's got larger water towers, which are about six inches, I think, in length, and then the ceiling is higher inside the nest. Now, when setting up a brand new Tar Hill Ants nest, especially for honey pots, it's very important to just lightly spray the inside of it with water to uh, increase the humidity. This is especially important for honey pots or other humidity dependent species. So to start the moving process, I'm gonna use some Tar Hill Ants Fluon and a Q-tip, and I'm gonna line the very top side of the outworld to prevent escapees. Next, I'm gonna use these Antopia USA Featherweight tweezers, I have long points and short points. Also, I'm gonna have a big container lined with Fluon. And then a manual aspirator for sucking up ants that fell out of the container or just hard to get. Very important when moving your honey pots, do not forget to plug the nest entrance. I've made that mistake a time or two. So moving this colony out of a tube nest, which is obviously not ideal, the first couple of tubes are mainly just workers and broods, so I'm able to just tap them into the outworld. And with the nest entrance plugged, I don't have to worry about them getting to, into the nest and getting out of the nest when the glass is off. I start getting into the lower tubes. These are the tubes that contain the repletes. And that's where you will need the fine tip or the short tip featherweight tweezers. You will have to manually move each replete from either the container or the tube inside the nest.
After an hour later, I got all six queens, all the repletes, and all the workers moved into the nest. Here's a shot of the nest about a month later where the ants are plenty settled in. This colony has six queens. This species is Myrmecocystis mendax, and it is a rare variant where they are truly polygynous. With the size of this nest though, they should be comfortable in here for what I would assume would be years. And I'll keep updating you guys as we go. Thanks for watching this video and follow and like and subscribe.